So now we want to graph uh, one of these conic sections. Uh, we kind of know it's a conic section because there's a x squared and x term and y squared and a y term. So if we can complete the square and change it into a standard conic section form, we can easily graph it. So let's look at the negative 6 term. So negative 6 times a half squared equals 9. And 2 times a half squared equals 1. So then we have x squared minus 6x plus 9 plus y squared plus 2y plus 1 equals, and we just have to add those terms to the other side, 9 plus 1. So factoring this out, we get x minus 3 squared plus y plus 1 squared equals 10. And we see that this is a circle with center at 3, negative 1, which is determined by these terms right here. And the radius, which is determined by this term, equals the square root of 10. So now we can graph this function with the center at 1, 2, 3, negative 1, and a circle with uh, a radius of square root of 10, which equals about 3.2. So if we draw out 3.2 units away from the center in all directions, Okay, we go 1, 2, 3.2 is about there, 1, 2, 3.2 is about there, 2 is about there, and 1, 2, 3.2 is about there. So if we connect the dots, we will get a nice and pretty circle that looks like that. And there's a quick look at conic sections and the method of completing the squares. Uh, just a very quick look for the AP exam. Thanks for watching and see you on the next educator.com lesson.